Welcome to Westside Barbell Audio Articles. Today's article, Strength Training for the Sprinter, Circa 2018, author Louis Simmons. What type of special strength training is required for a sprinter? This can only be answered by understanding a sprint. By definition, a sprint is to run as fast as possible for a short distance. According to Tom Tellez, considered by some to be the greatest track and field coach in history because of his contributions to the sports in areas of kinesiology, physiology, and biomechanics, the sprint has phases of sprinting. Tellez has named these five phases reaction time, 1%, block clearance, 5%, speed of efficient acceleration, 64%, maintenance of maximum velocity, 18%, and lessened degree of deceleration, 12%. Acquiring a strong torso. The hold to start position requires a strong torso from abdominus muscles. This means the rectus abdominis is active while bending forward or backwards and the oblique muscles reinforce the spinal erectors. Acquiring a strong torso is done by sit-ups, side sit-ups, and leg raises both hanging and laying. Twisting medicine ball work and push-ups are two simple but effective exercises that should be maintained. Westside uses a special weight sled exercise to build the connection between the front of the hips and the abs. The exercise involves hooking the feet into a second strap on the sled and walking with it around the ankles. For conditioning trips and for greater strength, use much heavier weights on the sled. By sitting on the standing blocks on the athletic training platform, ATP, Westside Special Belt Squat Machine and attaching the belt around the body while in the start position, you can develop isometric strength. A sprinter must never be overweight, which means he or she should never be too fat or too big from doing bodybuilding type exercises. The coach and sprinter must pay close attention to mass specific force, MSF. This is a term coach Barry Ross uses in his excellent book, Underground Secrets to Faster Running, 2005. Starting strength that is generated in the first 30 milliseconds after beginning the contraction is done by the method of repetitive reaction, Zatsiorsky, 1970. For testing an athlete to determine the sprinter's ability, use the template by Wozni, 1989. Developing maximal strength and speed strength to maintain top speed. The drive phase and the acceleration phase will account for 60 meters to 70 meters of a 100 meter race. This leaves 30 meters to maintain top speed. If this is not possible, it becomes a period of deceleration. For strength training, use both methods that Westside utilizes for both maximal strength and speed strength. First, let's be clear. Westside does not use the completely outdated block style periodization where only one phase of strength is trained at a time. Doing it this way becomes a detraining system. Starting with the hypertrophy training for a set number of weeks, then starting with a power phase within 20 days after the hypertrophy phase, the athlete will start to lose some portion of the muscle gained, which causes detraining. This happens after the power or strength phase. This does not happen, however, with the wave style periodization that Westside uses throughout the year. If you want new results, you cannot use block periodization as it has been outdated for 50 years. Much of block periodization training is worthless because as the intensity grows, the volume is decreased. The West Side Wave uses a mathematical formula that controls volume as to not over or under train while maintaining the correct barbell velocity to build a specific special strength. It uses a three-week wave ranging from 75% to 85% for speed strength development. The sets and total number of lifts are closely monitored to correspond with Prilipin's data. The three-week waves are regulated at 75% to 85%. 72 hours later, a max effort workout is done. The method calls for working up to a new all-time max on a special barbell exercise. It is rotated each week and expects the athlete to break a new record at over 90% rate. One workout, the ME workout, calls for breaking an all-time record all year long. More on this subject can be found in the Westside Book of Methods. It makes zero sense to only lift half a year and only throw half a year. First, you will lose much of the strength and power gain after stopping weight training. It is also a mistake to completely stop some form of running and lose timing and technique. This is very old thinking. An athlete must never take time off. Strength 
power and running technique must be improved all year in and out. Too many injuries. And here's more on weight training. There are far too many injuries in running events. Why is that? Overuse mostly of the lower limbs. A top male sprinter can produce 1,000 pounds of force for each step. That means 1,000 pounds on one foot at a time. Weight training will produce much less force on two feet. This means weight training can be a substitute for about 30 to 35% of the total training, according to a study by Lena Pavilanian, 1999, entitled Explosive Strength Training Improves 5-Kilometer Running Time by Improving Running Economy and Muscle Power. Good Strength Coach Needed To run faster, you must become stronger and more powerful for the 60, 100, 200, and 400 meter. It takes a good strength coach to teach good lifting. The strength coach needs to know good technique in the five classical lifts, along with how to use small special exercises to advance strength and power. The West Side system calls for 80% of its special strength training on small special exercises compared to only 20% with a barbell exercise. Why have we made that decision? The effort one displays on the body is not equal for all joints or parts of the body. That is why special single joint exercises must be used to balance out the body. While powerlifting recommends a one rep max, the sprinter should also test a three, five, or six rep max for strength endurance for two sets to maintain top speed maintenance. This was recommended by Charlie Francis when training Ben Johnson. Training Hamstrings After the barbell training, go to training an individual muscle group. The hamstrings play a great role while sprinting. Most have trained the hamstrings wrong, or should I say, trained only half the hamstrings. The hamstrings of a Westside former sprinter that were tested at Ohio State University showed a ratio of 60% hamstring and 40% quadricep. It was the highest ratio favoring the hamstrings tested in the facility. Let's start at the hips, where the hamstrings tie in for hip extension, which generates most of the running. Listed are several special exercises that build the glute hamstring tie-in. Number one, learn to squat correctly by box squatting. Box squatting requires one to sit far back on the box where the shins are passed parallel. This causes a great stretch in the entire hamstring. This cannot be done with regular squats. Number two, do dimmel deadlifts. This is a partial deadlift. After standing erect on the first rep, keep your back arched. Then, lower the bar very fast to the knee. Now, reverse to a concentric action and perform 20 reps as fast as possible. The work is mostly done with the glutes and hamstrings. The most we use is 95 pounds to 185 pounds for one to two sets two times a week. Number three, do reverse hypers. Reverse hypers are best done on a west side reverse hyper. Use a strap model. Hold your feet and legs together while performing the exercise. It is done primarily with the glutes and hamstrings, although the spinal erectors are strongly involved. As an added bonus, the reverse hypertractions the spine for restoration. The volume can be very high. 20,000 pounds is moderate. 40,000 pounds is common. Number four, use an ATP. Westside's athletic training platform is a special belt squat machine device that allows the user to walk in place or forward and backward for time, which would be two minutes for sprinting. This is truly a glute hamstring developer. Six to 10 minutes of work can greatly increase strength endurance. Standing in place will build isometric strength in the glutes. All sprinters must have very powerful glutes and the above mentioned special exercises fulfill this need. Number five. Perform sumo deadlifts. The deadlift is far superior to the power clean. In reality, the main function of either is to produce ground force. If you power clean 250, 80% would be 200 pounds. But if you sumo 450 pounds, 80% is 360 pounds of ground force at the same rate of time to separate the plates from the platform. Maximal strength is a major part of short races as it takes only 10% of the effort to go horizontally and 90% of the effort to overcome gravity vertically. We have talked about the hamstrings that cause hip extension. Now let's talk about two exercises that work both hip extension and knee flexion. Exercises for training hip extension and knee flexion. 
The first exercise is the calf ham glute bench. This exercise comes very close to actual running by pushing your toes into the toe plate while curling the hamstrings until you are sitting vertically. It simulates most sports activities. The calf ham glute bench was made for those who could not do a Russian leg curl. It is done while lying on the floor. Someone holds your ankles while you leg curl yourself into a vertical position. You must lower yourself until your chest touches the floor slowly, then leg curl your body up to the starting position without pushing yourself up from the bottom. Most will never be able to do a strict Russian leg curl no matter how hard they try, especially if the person is over 200 pounds. But Westside Barbell has a patented device known as the inverse curl. The inverse curl makes it possible to go through stages of altering the user's weight by a counter lever system that reduces the user's weight by using weight plates. For example, you might place a 45 pound plate on the machine, which would reduce the user's weight by 45 pounds, making it possible to complete a correct rep. As the user gains strength in the hamstrings, he or she can reduce the weight somewhat until after four or five weeks, they can gradually do it without weight. The athlete is now capable of doing a strict Russian leg curl. At this point, they should do sets of two to six reps. The athlete is now able to do not only Russian leg curls, but he or she can add such resistance as holding a weight at the chest, then on his or her back. Remember the name inverse leg curl. It is a game changer. After doing the large exercises, the athlete must do small special exercises every day to prevent injuries to the hamstrings. I am talking about continuous training. This means constant low to moderate work. First, do 200 leg curls every day with 5 pounds and then up to 20 pound ankle weights while lying face down. Not only does this keep the knee flexion strong and healthy, but it also acts like polishing the kneecap. A second small special exercise is seated band curls for 100 to 200 reps. The athlete sits on a bench and holds a rubber band to a rack or some secure object and pulls his or her ankle under their self. Any style of curls can be done in sets of 25 to 50 or even 200 reps for the well-trained endurance athlete. The high reps will make the connective tissue stronger. The higher the reps in one set, the better. Another method for restoration is to lift your legs in a swimming pool up to 1,000 times. This training must be done all year long for the long-term development of the sprinter. Quadricep Training The quads play a role in extending the knee. Most train the quads by doing one-half barbell squats. Westside has found that doing one-half squats in the ATP belt squat machine much more effective and less stressful on the spine. The exercise is done by hooking the belt around the waist to provide traction while building the quads by doing one-half squats. The athlete can also squat with the feet on an elevated ramp with the entire foot on the ramp while not locking out the legs for constant tension on the quads. Another method is belt squat walking. With weight belt around the waist, walk in place for a set time period. Walking forward and backward can be done as well. And last, isometric glute work can be done by standing in place and contracting the glutes as forcefully as possible. Summary Max Effort Training ME training is best for gaining the greatest strength increase by improving both intramuscular and intermuscular coordination. Remember, the body will adapt only to the demands placed on the athlete. This calls for low barbell volume by working up to a new max in about 7 lifts. 80% of the weight training is on small special exercises that focus on single joint movement. Dynamic Method Training Training at 30% to 50% of explosive strength requires the athlete to move weight in fast velocity in three weak waves. Or the athlete can use weights ranging from 75% to 85% range at intermediate velocity for speed strength. The barbell training is only 20% of the volume and 80% of our training on this day is small special exercises. On both days, explosive strength and speed strength, this can include jumping, bounding, and walking or running with a sled. Remember, the dynamic method is mainly for improving the rate of force development. Compensatory Acceleration Training Because of Newton's second law of motion, F equals MA, most of Westside Barbell's training is referred to as combinations of resistance method. 
When using rubber bands with barbell weight, it becomes somewhat based on elasticity. The amount of force is based on the range of displacement. With a greater range of motion, the bands cause a higher rate of exerted muscular force. Bands work like tendons and ligaments. This makes it compensatory acceleration training, CAT. Training year-round. There is much information and detail to performing correct barbell training and it is advisable to study all there is about weight and resistance training. Westside Barbell's program makes it possible to weight train year-round. No blocks to start or stop, but continuous training so strength power from weightlifting can aid in sprinting all year long while the athlete is maintaining sprinting technique and not losing six months of weight training. Instead, he or she is getting stronger and more powerful while not forgetting about perfecting sprint work. Warning to all, if you master the West Side Special Strength Training, you must constantly train running technique because with a newfound strength, especially in the hamstrings, the athlete will be producing much greater force on each step with the benefit of superior strength training. Louis Simmons